Hi, and it is the month of March. Yes, I love March. You know that already. <laughs> I love March a lot. Yes, March is my best month. Is my anniversary month. Yes, my birthday is on the third. My anniversary is on the twenty-first. And you know, um, the month of March, apart from the fact that it's a lot of celebration for me, it's also the month where. I got into the vision to do what I do and it's a month that you know I have several forms of emotions I know um, from being excited to being so bad to you know a lot of other things but you know one of the things that I also love about this month is that in the Academy we're also looking at how to understanding our children or right, that's a team of the month remember that whatever it is that you have done you you are you know you are walking through a process i want to tell you a story so i started going to the gym i'm sure you must have watched my stories and you must have seen me talk about it and right at the gym i said i've done this for like a month i went back to the gym i've always been a gym rat all right so i went back to the gym this year and i found out that i was trying to lose some 5 kg and it wasn't going. You know, every day I come my way and I can't see any difference. And then I decided, but I feel good in, in my body. As in, I, I feel well. I feel, you know, different. I feel lighter. I feel excited, you know, about my body now. And because I wasn't seeing any physical result, it felt like, am I really doing this? Should I continue and all of that? And boom, it hit me. That's the same way we work our parenting journey. You know, many of us have started this journey December, January, March. Some of us have been on it for three years. Some of us have been on it for two years. And you know, for every time you're asking yourself, all this thing, all these resources I'm spending, oh, all this time I'm putting in, oh, is it really working? And all of that. But you know, deep down somewhere, even though you cannot see physical things changing, you know that something has really changed. All right. And that was, you know, the, the position I took. And before I could say, Jack, I noticed that I've lost one kg and boom, we are on it. All right. So I had to stay on. So imagine that I gave up and I said, you know what? I'm no longer doing this because I cannot see results. So many times what you actually think that, you know, about result is, is, is not always what you just, you know, the things you see result can actually be in the unseen things all right so yes do not be wary keep at it on this job and congratulations to you february was awesome we had a lot i'm sure that the team will compile all we have done in february send it to you and for those of you who were able to get into the becoming an emotionally intelligent parent course oh wow woo, there's been tremendous changes i've seen the reviews you know warmed my heart oh it made me sleep well talking about that and you know in this month of march we're looking at understanding your child and we're going to be doing a challenge that is exclusive to the parents in the inner circle where we're taking the 30 days know your child more challenge all right we're going to be sharing with you what it is that you need to understand about your child every day and the things that you need to do and remember that in this week we're looking at parenting styles and how they affect your child i'm going to be doing you know some series for you on it remember that we're also doing our webinars for february in this week because we couldn't find a good weekend in the week of um, the month of february since it's a short month also and then the second week we're looking at parenting style and your child's temperament all right, what we understand and how you're going to be able to create a system and match it up and make it work. And then in the third week, we're looking at your child and their learning style. And for the record, we have the learning style, understanding your child's learning style course. Now, one of the things that, you know, I've come to realize about learning style is that, you know, a lot of us have called a lot of children, oh, Lord, oh, they don't know anything, oh, just because we don't understand how they learn and because we can't teach them. You can't really teach a child that you don't understand how they learn. So the, the course on understanding your child learning style is open for everybody, including the others. If you can afford it, you can jump in. If you're struggling with understanding how your child learns, this will be an opportunity. The good thing is that you're having a whooping, you know, um, discount for it. So you're paying 5,000 naira instead of 
a 13,500 just because you are in the inner circle. And also because I want you to understand learning style because I've come to realize that learning style is at the root of so many things. Oh, I struggled. Um, uh, my story was that, so you know I have a set of twins that will be like, over kill if I say it over and again. You already know that. And you know, my daughter started reading at four, and at six, my son wasn't even reading. I didn't realize that my son's learning style was actually a more, um, will I say complicated? Something I needed to study more and be able to help him. And boom, that was how my story changed. Today, my son tops class, not because you know it, it's so smart, but because also. Um, we've been able to understand how he learns and he understands how he learns now the good thing about the Understanding your child's learning style course is that it teaches you how to also help your child Learn the other learning styles because your child cannot you can't say oh my child is a kinesthetic learner So therefore my child will not learn any other way So it means that your child is never going to learn because the environment doesn't even help the child to learn in you know in, in that way so it's a whole lot of you know study it took me three years to be able to get to the point where i could say yes i had success teaching this and we've done this course um for the past four years and we've had over ten thousand parents take this course same story every parent who came out of that course said same thing they said i wish i knew this when my children were in secondary school i wish i knew this when i was in school so you will see a whole lot in that course and we are also revamping it where we're putting just like the emotional intelligence class that we did in case you've taken it before we're also putting in a lot of studies that are new and the things that you will need to do with your child and then in the last week we're going to be looking at understanding your child's personality um our our weekly webinars you know um explaining the tools of the week there's one on building relationship we're going to be bringing a guest that will help us also talk about building relationship and how i'll also be giving some expose in how i have built my own strong circle of friends as well that will really help you you know on the journey and i know that a lot of people are waiting to hear this yes you are privileged you are the inner circle that's why i'm going to be sharing that story with you do not forget that we are also going to be looking at the webinars of the month in level one, we're going to be doing who am I parenting? And um, in level two, we're going to be doing how to help your child transition through puberty. And in level three, we're going to be doing creating a conflict resolution plan in your home. And, you know, for all of these levels, do, do not, don't, don't mobile yourself with the things you're hearing, all right? These are all the levels and, you know, the more you're doing, everything you're learning now, we're incorporating a lot for you. This curriculum was built specifically to help you transition from being that parent you know who is at the rock bottom to that parent who, are, who is at the top if you can practice a minimum of 50 percent of the things that we teach you on a daily basis trust me you become a champion when people see your children they will know that they are intentionally parenting now please remember that intentional parenting does not mean that your children are going to be perfect or you will become perfect. No, we're going to fall. You know, like I often say to you, I, I, I'm sure I've shared a lot of my vulnerable moments with you where I have also made mistakes, where my children have also made mistakes. So this is not a journey to perfection, it's a process. Do not forget that. And don't forget that March is an exciting month for us. I really cannot wait for the learnings in this month. You know, there are a lot of free resources for you right in the inner circle. Follow through. Please follow through. Your ability to just follow through even the, the whole, you know, process of step-by-step, -step, you know, um, journey to everything that happens in the inner circle is your win. Please do not be wary. Stand up. Pick up yourself. Even if you have not followed through in the past, you know, two days, pick up yourself and start again. And remember that not reading a book in the inner circle is a crime. In level one, we're reading why you act the way you do. Amazing book. In level two, we are going to be reading um, the, the book of the month is, um, in, in level three is um, Resolving Sibling Rivalry. And then in level two, we're doing Walking Your Child Through Puberty and Sex Prove Your, your Home. And um, in all of these books, there are a lot of things you can pick. There are a lot of learnings. Remember that who you become in the next five years is actually a function of who you connect with and the books that you read. If not, in the next five years, you become same person.
Same person. So the change that will come to you is a function of your connection, is a function of the books that you read, is a function of the things that you learn, so that you're going to become better. So in the next five years, age is just a number. It doesn't change anything. It, the only thing that actually changes is how you connect and what you learn. And most importantly, the books that you read. I'm going to end with this quote. Um, my, my, my most revered pastor, Bishop David Oedebo, will say that wisdom is not in the things that you know or the things that you think you know. Wisdom is the things that others know that you do not know. Don't forget that. And my best definition of education is learning those things you think you knew, but you never knew. Thank you again. And it's most, you know, exciting to be part of your journey. I love that I have a piece of me in every home that is listening to me. What a blessing. What a blessing. And thank you so much for trusting that we can do this with you. See you at the end of the month.